The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This will be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. Bring it here, let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. May you live to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. To your health. Salud. Well, the doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all hotels. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this, that now we have what we have always needed, real partnership with a government. Salute. Salute. Cheers. Salute. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interests in the Cuba operation to you, my partners, to the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Grazie. The Nationale will go to Rico Granados, and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. Lachaim. Gendan, salute. Just like your brother, you smart. What's on your mind, Dominic? How are you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're gonna do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year's celebration. You should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. Huh? Yeah, so... Boss, you all right? Michael wanted me to make sure that everything's set for tomorrow's meeting. Don't worry about it, Dominic. It's taken care of. I'm just anxious to get back to New York. I don't like it here. I don't trust what the president says, you know, about the rebels. I just want to get out of here. Come on, Aldo. You really think the rebels are going to be a problem? Yeah, I do. You know what I saw on my way over here? I saw a rebel being arrested. And instead of being taken alive, he exploded a grenade hidden in his jacket. They can win. Look, boss. One man with one grenade is hardly going to take down an army. I know. It's just I got a bad feeling being here. Look, I'll be better after tomorrow. Let's get this New Year's stuff over with, finish the deal, and go back to New York. Michael, Fredo, the countdown's about to start. Oh, is everything set for tomorrow's meeting? Of course, Michael. Don't worry about a thing. Senoras y senores. Due to serious setbacks to our troops in Guantanamo and Santiago, my position in Cuba is untenable. I am receiving...
resigning from office to avoid further bloodshed. Regresen a sus hogares. Abandonen sus carros en el hotel. Yo debo dejar la ciudad inmediatamente. I wish you all good luck. Salud. There's a plane waiting for us. Salud. Go. Don't make Salud. a big thing about it. Lead on. Crowd the exits. They want to round up supporters of the president. I see him over there. Just keep on moving. Got <coughs> Good job. Jesus! No must! Which mob? They're riders. They're not dangerous. So watch out for the rebels. Where'd you put the money? Still in the hotel. Christ, it's two million. Gone. Get us through here.
Leave him. We have to go. Everyone's trying to get out. Look! Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. Dominic, I want you to be boss. And I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died. No, no, that was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli, you've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Mike. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Over here. I'll guard the door. Frank, I'm going to take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a Stugatz. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? Maybe. But whoever it is, it ain't Roth. And Carmine's men are still loyal to him. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring him into your family. I hate these double shifts. How come you don't work with the rest? Maybe it's because you want to work with the best. I'm a good earner, Dominic. You can't go wrong with me. So, what can you bring to the table? Arson's my thing. I like to burn stuff. I'll burn anything. Burn down a cop station once, if you can believe that. What's your story? Tell me about yourself. I'm kind of like a good, cheap wine. 
I get better with age, and I really pack a punch. We gonna do some business? Yes. You're part of the family now. So let me ask you something. What Frank was saying earlier, do you believe it? About Mr. Roth and the Rosados? Nah, Frankie's a good enforcer, but he can't see things like Mike can. Mr. Roth's been good to us, always has been. 